At CG, of course, what we're all about is international governance innovation. And for the last few years, uh, we have focused on the G20, the creation of the G20, how it's actually worked. Uh, and what we're doing on, for this particular conference is looking more broadly at what we call uh, the new geometry of summitry. So it's the G20 and how's the G20 doing and how do people see the G20 evolving. When I say people, I mean uh, people from a variety of countries around the world, including key ones like China and India. But we're also looking at the relationship to the G8 uh, raising the question as to whether uh, the maintenance of the G8 is compatible with a G20. Uh, we're looking at uh, whether the G20's uh, uh, agenda uh, might be further expanded uh, so that it looks at uh, questions like climate change or uh, transnational crime, a variety of things that are economically linked or linked to the economy uh, but are not part of the agenda as it now exists. That would be very much as Korea added development onto the uh, agenda at the summit uh, last, last November. And then finally, what we're looking at uh, is the relationship between the G20 on the one hand and the UN on the other. So, and I think what we're doing here, both with respect to the uh, G20 and the UN, but uh, also true with respect to the looking at the future of the G7, G8 in the context of the development of the G20, this is uh, innovative. Nobody else, to the best of uh, our knowledge, has done this. And uh, we, we, we start with the, from the belief that uh, uh, global governance, better global governance is essential, uh, that global governance needs innovation, that innovation is uh, not easy to produce, uh, and that one way of getting innovative ideas pushed forward uh, is, is through leaders. And that's why we believe that uh, summits are really important uh, as to uh, how the world is able to deal with major uh, challenges that stem from uh, global interdependence. One of the uh, aspects of CG's work uh, that is uh, unusual, I won't say unique, but it's, uh, it's unusual, is that we engage uh, people who are or were uh, in positions of uh, some uh, influence or power uh, in, our, in our meetings. Uh, we have people coming from uh, an academic uh, background, of course, as well, people coming from think tanks uh, to our meetings. But one of the things that we have tried to do uh, throughout uh, the, the work with CG, and it applies as well to the meetings that will be uh, taking place on the new geometry of summitry, is to get people that have had real world experience to participate. Why do we do that? Because we want to be well grounded, but also because uh, we want to be able to offer uh, constructive, realistic advice uh, to those who will be hosting future summits. And we've been able to do that in the past, and I am confident that at this meeting and in subsequent meetings that we organize, we will continue to be able to provide uh, relevant uh, advice uh, to those that are in positions of uh, authority and governments uh, now that are engaged in the G20 summit process.